Getting into our next game. Spawning in the bottom left here from Team Composite. Uh, he could be eliminated in this game. It's our purple Zerg player, DRZ. And his opponent in the top right. Just needs one more game to keep his hopes alive here in this group. From Team Composite as well is our Terran player in yellow, Charlie. So, okay, well, nothing. I, 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 you know, I, I hope Charlie goes for a proxy T-Rex, just because it's kind of fun. Uh, it may almost be BM doing it against an opponent who is two leagues below you, uh, but yeah, whatever. No extra SCVs have been rallied out, so I guess that's not going to be the case. He actually has an SCV queued up as well, so I'm not going to see a T-Rex. How dull. Probably another macro build coming from DRZ. He may, he may try to mix something up and go for some sort of just all-in bust and see what he can do with that, because I mean, if you know a build and you execute it well, you can beat anybody at this level, to be honest. Um, so long as you execute it well. Uh, that tends to be the problem, is, is, is in that execution. Charlie going for this barracks first, and a gas uh, on 12 as well. Uh, so he's going to be able to go into some reapers early. There we go. Finally getting that gas to come down. So he's going to be able to go into Reapers or just a quick, quick factory if he wants to. Uh, a lot of things you can do off of one gas, off of one base, if you uh, don't use anything but that gas to make buildings. Uh, just making a ton of uh, Hellions can be frightening. And using the gas that you mine to make two factories and get blue flame with all those Hellions and just absolutely wreck an entire mineral line, but as it stands, we'll likely more to see Reaper. Let's get a nice scout off and then transition into the normal Hellion uh, based play afterwards. Charlie is going to have a full wall off here with his depots. So he's going to stay nice and, and hidden for a while. And actually, there we go. Okay. First shipper is on the way now. I was kind of worried it wasn't going to be made. He's going to go for a really fast factory or something. But it is going to be a Reaper. Uh, pool gas on the way to complement this hatchery first build here from DRZ. Reaper Control can make or break some games, uh, so if Charlie has some decent control, he could really he could get a few kills here. Uh, the pull is a little bit late uh, in dealing with, not not late necessarily, but dealing with a hatch first um, and having Reapers come at you really early uh, can be really annoying to deal with and you can lose a lot uh, more than you intend to just because you're not going to have a queen for a while. First queen is in production here for DRZ, kind of a second one here in just a second, there it goes. Second one production, but Reaper is moving across the map. Oh, it's, it wants to check these these watchtowers and see what it's gonna see what it can see. Four lings on the way. Just want to make sure there weren't any lings that are actually ambling the way across the map already. Uh, but now this first Reaper is actually going to be in into the base here of DRZ. A couple lings are going to pop out and meet that Reaper, but Reaper is going to be able to micro against these these lings as long as as long as it wants. I'm going to kill off one of them, we're going to kill off the second one here in just a second, so long as he actually targets it. Yeah. So, two links down, going to be a third one here in a second, going to retreat to his queens now. Uh, he's probably going to lose yet another ling here. Actually, loses three links already. Uh, and yeah, it's a decent work there. A second reaper is going to be joining this, CC has come down, and a third reaper is in production as well. So, uh, if these reapers are retained, as well as adding on the Hellions here momentarily after those reapers, after the factory finishes and the reactor finishes, uh, that can be a really, really scary situation for a Zerg player. Uh, queens are not safe against three reapers alone, not to mention the fact that you add on uh, a bunch of Hellions from these factories. Uh, that can be extremely, extremely annoying. Factory is actually going to make the reactor for itself, and we do have three reapers now. Three Reapers and a Tech Lab coming down on this barracks. Third Command Center was already thrown down before the second one actually even finished up. Uh, so Charlie is feeling nice and safe uh, going for this build. Link's Bleed is on the way here for DRZ, so he's going to be able to push away these Reapers eventually, but now there are three, and that is a bit of an annoyance. Uh, Spinecrawler is in, is in danger of going down. He doesn't really want to lose that. He's going to want to cancel that and remake it, because uh, that will for sure die off. Yeah, this is, this is going to die. So that dies off, so that's that's kind of a sad story. And now the queen's going to be under fire. Uh, there is a bailing nest on the way here in the main base of DRZ, but all these reapers are going to get in here, and they're going to be able to see that eventually. Uh, speed isn't going to be finished for a moment. Oh, they're just going to poke in, and actually all they see right now is the queen. Uh, they see the second gas, and they're going to just go on, go go look at the bailing nest. Just barely not seeing the bailing nest. He's going to get in here and see it eventually. He wants to kill off these two drones that he has at, at one HP. 
Uh, but he's done a nice job so far. I mean, he hasn't seen the, the Bane of but he did see both these gases. Uh, but one of the gases actually isn't being used, so he's got two gases and actually using them. Uh, the first Hellions have been created here. Wait, didn't they? Yeah, they're there. Yellow is very difficult to see on a screen. First two Hellions have been made, actually switching into Widow Mines now. Uh, and immediately turning into a bio widow mine force as fast as he possibly can. Uh, just getting those two Hellions for a little bit more map control with the three Reapers he already has. The Reapers just going to look around the map, trying to find what they can. Combat Shield is on the way once again for Charlie. It's his first upgrade of choice rather than going for uh, something like Stim first and going for a quick Stim push. You may go for that Combat Shield push we saw earlier, but uh, not as many uh, barracks have been made this this game. He's going to have a couple Widow Mines to defend. I think seeing those two gases uh, Charlie did uh, made him a little bit worried, so he made a couple of Widow Mines to be able to defend, but now he's got some Hellion production kicking in. Uh, he's up to four. He's going to go up to six and probably stop there. Uh, six Hellions with three Reapers are going to be able to take as much map control as he would like uh, for quite a while. Lair is finished up. No banding speed is on the way just yet. Kind of almost expect to see that. He is making two Evo Chambers, however. And there's no third hatchery on the way just yet for DRZ. He is up to three gases. He is finally actually saturating the second gas in his uh, main. Uh, his, one of the gases is only on two, thanks to those Reapers from earlier. I'm curious, how many kills does he have so far? Okay, he's only got one worker kill, so there's only the one worker that actually went down. Uh, along with the spine car that was killed a little bit earlier. Uh, now he's got this force of Hellions and Reapers that are going to be pushing into the natural base here. Uh, there's going to be a, there's a possibility of a nice little wall with Queens and the Evo Chambers. It's going to section off a good portion of this. Uh, but there's no third base, so there's no reason really for these Hellions to do too much besides being really annoying. Uh, could try to go for the actual mineral lamp, they're not going to do that, they're going for a queen. Then he's going to try to get here and get on top of this, but that's not going to happen because there's way too much here for just this many links. Uh, Banlings are slow, they're off creep, not going to catch all of that. Uh, and now the Reapers and Hellions are just going to go to town on these two queens here. Uh, one queen did have a transfuse, wasn't able to use it. Another Baling goes down. Uh, DRZ is just kind of, he's just losing everything once again. Uh, he's got 22 links in production, but right now he has absolutely no connection to defend. He does have a spine crawler, so that's going to be nice. Uh, does he have a spine crawler in his main? He does not have a spine crawler in his main. Uh, some more links do pop out, so this will be able to be cleaned up eventually. Uh, but he's lost a good number of units already for this. And actually, uh, he's not even going to clean this up completely. Uh, good micro there from Charlie, keeping the second Hellion that was only at a very small amount of health alive. Uh, now he's going to push in to the main base and just still continue being annoying. The Hellion will eventually get pushed back, finally. Uh, but now Charlie has a third base down. Uh, he's got a nice little little bio force back home already. He's got Medivex in production. He's got some Widow Mines even. Uh, yeah, he's taking a nice little lead here. Two Queens were killed off, five of those Banelings, 47 Lings were lost uh, in that engagement. That's an absolutely absurd number. Uh, that is so many units to lose this early in a game. Uh, 42 workers to 51 in favor of the Terran player, and the Terran player is over the third base, not the Zerg. Uh, that is definitely, definitely, definitely an issue right now. Um, yeah, Dears, he's going to have to find a way to actually do some sort of damage. He's got plus one melee attack finished up. That's nice. Uh, the problem being, Charlie already has plus one, plus one for his melee. He's even got a combat shield. No stim, or did stim just finish? He hasn't actually gotten stim yet. Which is, you know, that's, that's no fun. I always like to have stim for my bio when I go bio. So that's going to be finishing up very, very late. Uh, so that's going to be difficult to actually fight against if we actually had speed bailings. We don't have speed bailings, we don't have speed on the way either. Uh, this, me this melee force is going to have plus one, plus one eventually. I don't think he's, he's probably going to attack before that actually finishes. When we are set up in nice positions, actually going to get a couple shots off before anything actually important happens. Two shots do go off. Four kills and one kills respectively on these Widow Mines. And now, now Charlie knows that this attack is coming. More bending's being morphed in, but they're being morphed in in, in range of all of this. More and more Widow Mines being transferred over. They're going to gonna burrow there. He's going to drag some of these. Oh, actually, that was, that was a bad shot there. That was kind of a poor shot, but that's okay because... This one got six kills, and I think those all banelings. Uh, now all that DRZ has are these banelings, and he's got one lonely little ling here. Another another shot goes off on the widow mines. Uh, Carapus hasn't finished up either. More and more widow mine shots going off. It's going to finish up all of this. Yeah, there we go. No army at all left over here, thanks to the widow mines. We did kill a few widow mines, which is nice, but now he has nothing left. 
Uh, Ten Marines being produced at a time here for Charlie, and he's going to be able to start dropping whatever he wants to do that. Uh, and really, he can just push across the map with this force that he does have, which looks like it is going to be the case. This is going to be a death march to end all death marches. Uh, going to put Charlie likely into the final match uh, for that spot for the round of 16. What do we have? Six Widow Mines, a whole lot of bio, a couple of medivacs. Medivacs actually leading the charge, and a Widow Mine leading the charge as well. What am I going to burrow? Are there any? There aren't any observers. There are no overseers actually at all. Uh, so Widow Mines aren't going to be able to get taken out unless he lands a bailing on top of it, so. That's no good. Charlie just pushing in with this massive force. Uh, he's even taking a fourth base behind it up in the corner. Uh, splitting up his marines. Just setting up very nicely. He's just going to keep uh, <laughs> keep DRZ in a terrible position. DRZ attempting to bait out a widow mine shot. That's not going to happen. Bailing speed has finished up, which is nice. Plus one, plus one has finished up for the Zerglings and Bailings as well. But uh, plus two, plus two is about to finish here for Charlie. And it looks like he's going to wait for that until he actually does any sort of attacking. Uh, and regardless, behind this, he's got a pretty nice massive force. So he's going to push over to the third base and take that out very easily. Uh, still no reaction from DRZ. And actually, was there even more? No. Third base goes down. So that is gone. There is no third base here. We've got a two-base Zerg player at 15 and a half minutes versus a four-base Terran. 69 to 43 workers. 182 supply to 88. Uh, 38 links on the way. That's, that's nice. One bending does connect, but 2-2 uh, two, two Marines with combat shield. I uh, don't really care too much. Units are just dying before the little munch actually even go off. A few more units are going to die here for Charlie. He's, he's, starting to, he's starting to die a little bit. He's getting some units killed. Uh, but DRC is going to lose his, his upgrade here in a second. Another one of my goes off. It's very nice, but he's just going to pick up. There's no threat of Mulus. Uh, finally an Overseer, and actually... There we go. Medivac's just going to run away and <laughs> drop at their original location once more. There's only two Bailings left. Uh, and the force back home is just absolutely ridiculous right now for Charlie. 90, 104 arms played at 27 here in favor of our Terran player. Uh, and yet he is picked up and he has gone home. He left, a, he left a Marine and a Widow Mine here over at the third base just to be an extra annoyance. He has all the map vision in the world. He's got both towers. Uh, he sees that the third base is ever going to get taken. DRZ is going to push across the map and I guess try to make something happen. See what he can do. But once again, this is absolutely everything. This is seen before it even starts happening by Charlie. So he knows it's coming. He can set up very nicely for it. He's even got a tank. He even has a tank. He's trying to take another base here at the gold. It's going to have to get cancelled, sadly, for him. Actually, it doesn't even get cancelled, but uh, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, some more Widow Mine Chats going up. But I think most of that was actually going off on Charlie's army and not actually the Zerg army. Uh, a little bit more. More and more Lings rallying to their death here. Charlie's just, again, pushing across the map. 195 supply to 74. Uh, there's really just not much to say about this, other than this is uh, a little bit gross. He just needs to go kill him. Actually, there's even two medevacs full of units uh, with this army, so this army could be even bigger at the moment. It's just not. I mean, you can have a pretty frightening amount of units off of two bases, so long as you're able to actually have the larva, and that's kind of an issue when you only have two hatcheries. Tank has sieged up. It's going to draw some fire in. Uh, a couple medevacs pushing in here. I'm not sure what they're doing. I guess they're going to go drop. Uh, what medevac almost dies, which would have been kind of sad for it, but not too much to say. This is kind of turning almost a TVT where you're just kind of keeping your opponent back in his base, but uh, it's TVZ and your opponent has no actual units that can fire against you at the same time. So it's a little bit unfair uh, as, it's, as it stands. DRZ now dropping below 50 supply. There we go. GG. Charlie is going to go ahead and move on to the final match.